This is Amy at Amy's Free Motion Quilting Adventures, found at freemotionquiltingadventures.blogspot.com with just a quick how-to free motion quilt video um, for those who have never done it before. I've got my Supreme Slider on my quilting surface. I have no needle, no thread in my needle. I have no thread in the bobbin. We're just going to get a feel for the motion. I've got my free motion quilting foot on. I have my sandwich fabric. I'm going to drop the presser foot. It's all a free motion quilting foot set from Janome. I am using a Janome 6600 machine, which I love. I'm going to engage the needle down function before I start. This ensures that anytime I stop, my needle will be down and it will keep my fabric from shifting. And we're just going to start doing just some soft loop de loos. Like I said, I don't have any thread in the machine right now. I'm just getting a feel for the motion. I can speed up. When I speed up, I want to speed up my hands. When I slow down, I want to slow down my hands. If I speed up and keep my hands at the same speed, my stitches will get very short. I slow down and move my hands too fast, my stitches will get very long. I know you can't see the stitching because I don't have thread showing and this camera just does not show that much detail, but where I am sitting I can see enough to see where I am going. And this is a great way for you to practice when you're new to free motion quilting. And I'm just repositioning my hands. And this way you're not using up your fabric, you're not using up your thread. It's just a little bit of easy practice. Let me show you how I move my hands again. I've gotten over very close to my hand. I stop, my needle is down. And I just reposition my hands. So I have more room to move. Again, I come over here, I stop, reposition my hands. And I start. I try to move my fabric just a tiny bit as it's making that first stitch after I've um, started over again when I've repositioned my hands um, so that there's not a couple of stitches right on top of each other. This is all I'm doing, just a smooth loop de loo. And that will help you get a feel for what it's like to free motion quilt without feeling like you're really messing up. You don't want to get your fingers over too close. You could get it with that needle. You don't want to do that. You don't want to get your right hand over too close and have it run into the foot. That can change your motion. Again, this you can't see my stitching. There is no thread in here. This is just a practicing to get the motion down. I'm going to stop now and I just start on a new video. I hope you will look for my uh, videos on YouTube and at the blog. Again, this is Amy at Amy's Free Motion Quilting Adventures. We're doing a series on how to free motion quilt. Thank you. Bye-bye.